New Stop York. hating on me or I'm going to actually sue you. him once actually not once if you watch the video not once all I did was push him out of frustration which is wrong he was like okay. seriously chill because I was so pissed off about something like couples fight let's move on it's all good he's we're still together so clearly I didn't abuse him if, if you know it's like it's all good it was in a moment of frustration and anger and I did not hurt him. I shoved him. Which, again, you guys don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Like, you have no idea what goes on behind closed doors. Like, Judge our whole relationship off one argument we've gotten? That I was mad at him? Like, what if the argument was him mad at me? Would that have said he was abusive? Or It's like, come on. Let's just... It's not the big of a deal. Am I saying that I... Oh, guys, you don't know am What? I'm saying that you don't know what we go, what goes on with us. For those of you who say I photoshopped my photos, this is my body. I don't photoshop myself. Stop it. Gosh, it's so annoying because everyone's just like, oh my god, you always photoshop your photos. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> it's so annoying. average so unless i was consistently filling my face with filler in any capacity it goes away so yes my lips are fully real and i think that everyone needs to just google what filler actually is before they just go around accusing everybody of having so much plastic surgery they're like she's so fake filler goes away you guys it's not it doesn't stay so if somebody who you know is like claiming that people are super fake it's like well well, if they did a real procedure, then maybe, but if not, it's temporary things. I'm 100% natural. Like, I don't have any plastic surgery. I think that everyone should stop caring so much about that. It's getting really old at this point. I've said it so many times. You know, it gets really old after a while. And I have, like, tons of photos to just, like, prove that I... Like, I just fucking grew into my face. People, people like, post photos literally of me when I was, like, 12 years old, like, smiling like this, with my top lip looking as small as possible, and then they'll post a photo of me like this. And they're like, look at her, she's so plastic and fake and looks so different. I'm like, who the fuck wouldn't look different at 21 Thank versus God 12? We than we did at 12 years old. You know what I mean? I'm just like, what? Like, how do you, how wouldn't I look different if I'm making a fuck? Well, I actually have a question These are for you. These interesting questions. As a dead fan, I have a question for Do you. Do number five, because five. five, this goes along with our one, three, five, fifty-three. You can take it as you will. I've been around their fights for the past three years, and I know how this shit really goes down. It's never been a one-sided thing, and honestly, this video is the first time I've ever heard Madison hold her tongue in an argument. So I hit up Madison after this video got out, and I was accusing her of leaking it. She starts denying it. You think I want this out? You really think I want this out? Like, this is just as hard for me. People are calling me names, and regardless, she's... No, nah, it's not her. She's fully confident in that. Her and Jack had been broken up for, you know, a few weeks. They were still talking. They were, they were honestly on good terms. And I was like, 
yes, thank you. Both of you are out of this toxic relationship. Like, we can all just move on with our lives. I guess she was telling him how, like, I accused her. And so G comes home and he's like, bro, chill out. I dated this girl for three years. I know her. Like, she would never, like, purposefully try and ruin my career. I'm like, okay, maybe you're right. Who knows what's going on then? So G's like, yo, we're on good terms. I'm just gonna post an apology and, you know, hope for the best. Because, like, what else can I do? Like, I just kind of got fucked by this audio clip. Just makes him seem like a shitty person. So all he could really do was own up to it at this point. He, he refrains from saying anything, like, about how the relationship really is. He literally makes Madison look like a great fucking person. Like, amazing. Like, she literally won the internet at that point. All she had to do was not post that bullshit fabricated statement that she put out yesterday, and I probably would have left it at that. But after seeing her blatantly lie to the world, and after seeing these receipts I'm about to show y'all, I just, I could not let that slide. I'm not gonna let the world just sit in the dark on this situation just because G can't speak, because everybody will just freak out on him. I'ma speak, alright? I'ma tell you the fucking truth. Madison's statement that she put out, there's a very positive, uplifting message behind it, but this shit makes Glinsky look like somebody who he's just not. Point blank, period. This toxic relationship was fully mutual, and her trying to act like some angel just like some perfect pure angel that helped Glinsky out of this dark spot in his life is just, I'm not gonna let that fly because that's just not true. I've heard Madison call Jack things and just say things about people in general that would undoubtedly put her in this exact position right now. If me and G and our friends decided to be on our sketchy record you in private blackmail shit, she would be in this exact same predicament. Her statement just made the relationship seem like something it wasn't. This is around the time when I was learning the truth about the whole hacked Madison account and was starting to get some receipts. And I guess everything just sort of culminated into her deleting the statement. To me, that's a complete admittance of just lying. But take it as you will, take it as you will. All right, let's go back a month or two, you know, when Jack and Madison are still dating. Some of mine and Jack's diehard fans were taking a trip out to LA. So they go out through their day, you know, they're all like, you know, hanging out, Snapchatting with each other. Um, so I know like who these fans are at this point because, you know, I see them in her Snapchats and, you know, not too weird, I guess. You can have multiple faves. Like, I didn't really think too much of it. I was like, okay, that's chill. Just, you know, hanging with some fans. Fuck yeah. So I start DMing yesterday with uh, two of these three girls in like separate DM conversations. We're gonna call these two girls the receipt goddesses because you know, they're the ones who bless us with these receipts. She starts DMing me, so yo, I wanna tell you the truth behind the Madison hacked account. At this point, I already knew Madison was behind it all, but you know, if I didn't have concrete evidence, didn't really matter. It was my word versus hers and like the whole internet's on her side right now. So like, I would've just gotten fucked up. I was sent this, this. Uh, is Madison talking to the fans that she had set up the hacked Madison account and leak all this stuff. Um, I blurred her number out for obvious reasons, but you know, I checked it in my phone. Uh, they didn't have the contact saved, so I could literally verify the number was hers, because I just checked my contacts and it was the exact same number. And yeah, I mean, there it is. There's her putting it out herself. And I quote, directly from Madison Beer's statement, Jack and I having to face this again has been so hard. Really? Really? You put this out there yourself. Don't try and... You love this shit. You love that that was out there. You leaked this shit and now you're trying to act like you didn't want it out there? Just stop. Everyone in this little social media bubble that we live in just doesn't know shit about the relationship. You only know what you see, and what you see is never the full truth. Here we have Madison writing a message in third person, which is just already weird as fuck, um, that she wants these girls to put on the hacked account and make it seem like it's coming from a source. Keep in mind, this account's deleted now. And the fact she's trying to get people to sympathize with her over some shit that's not even true? What are you doing, yo? This whole situation has made me look at her so differently. Jack and Madison should have realized a long time ago that they were toxic for each other. Everybody tried to tell them, they're friends. I'm not gonna let her make it seem like it was just Glinsky saying shit to her and not vice versa. Because that's never been the case. You don't try and just fuck over someone's life. Once again, I'm never gonna justify anything Jack said in that video. That's never been the point of this video. I just want you guys to take this information as you wish. And I'm glad you just watched this. And yeah. Why? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why? Hold on. Hold on. We already have wristbands. Are you serious? You're lying. We already have wristbands. Where's your guy? Wristbands, don't cut it. Okay. Secondary okay. ID check, let's go. I can't with this. Wait, I'm so going to cut it. And I fucking. It's a fake ID. What? Look at him trying it. That says I'm not even 21. That's not even 21. Fake ID. Baba, that says I'm not even 21. Why would that be fake? That's what I'm wondering. Why the hell did you get a fake ID?